Hey everyone, I recently made these teak bellows and I'll link to that video in the description. But making these made me want to make a quick video on how they work because there's a lot more happening than just squeezing some air out of a bag. It's all down to a principle in physics that we call the Bernoulli effect. So here I'll just quickly explain how it works and give a demonstration. In the early 1700s, there's a physicist mathematician named Daniel Bernoulli and he put out a book called Hydrodynamica. In this book, he describes a principle that comes to be named the Bernoulli effect or the Bernoulli principle. Essentially, what it describes is that the speed of a fluid is inversely correlated to the pressure of the fluid. So the faster a fluid is moving, the less pressure it has. And in this discussion, we're considering air a fluid. This principle can be seen in things all around us, from airplane wings and birds flying, to wind turbines, venturi effects, carburetors. There's tons of pieces of modern technology that rely upon it. So what's actually happening with the example of the bellows is that as it's squeezed, the air is accelerated out of the nozzle. And this is where the principle takes effect. The air coming out of the bellows is moving quite quickly, which also means that it's low pressure. So it's creating an area of low pressure that's shooting forward. And what that does is that it forces the surrounding atmosphere to rush in to fill that area of low pressure, to equalize it and bring it back up to the same pressure as the surrounding air. So for every squeeze of the bellows, you're delivering far more air than the volume just trapped inside. Another way to demonstrate this is just breathing. So if you take a deep breath and blow it out with a wide open mouth, so that's the volume of your lungs being pushed out, but it's not moving very quickly. So the pressure drop isn't very big. So you're not sucking in very much surrounding atmosphere. But if you pucker your lips and blow out, the air is traveling much faster. So the pressure is much lower, meaning much more of the surrounding atmosphere has to rush in to equalize that pressure. So with that same lungs full of air, you're delivering much more air to the target area. In fact, one trick you can use when you're trying to get a fire going without bellows is normally you just blow on it like this. But if you make a small hole with your fingers like this and you blow through it, you can actually increase the speed a lot more of your breath, meaning higher speed, lower pressure, and even more atmosphere that has to rush in to neutralize that pressure. So you can get even more air into your fire. Try that next time you're around a fire. Just hold your fingers together and blow. And you'll be surprised how much stronger it is. So now I'll set up one more demonstration and hopefully it makes it really clear. I've just got a normal trash bag and an air hose. So first I'll just make sure there's no air in the trash bag and pinch it off at the top. So now I'll inflate the bag with the air hose, but I'll put the nozzle right inside the bag so there will be no Bernoulli effect. This is just the volume of the air that the air hose can deliver and the time it takes to fill this bag. So that's just the air out of the air hose. Now I'll demonstrate the same thing, but with the Bernoulli effect. I'll use the same bag and I'll empty it out of air again, but I've got it taped up to this piece of metal here so that as I'm holding it, I can leave an opening in the bag about the size of a fist. And I'm gonna use the same air hose, but this time I'm gonna hold it back a little bit so that the jet of air is exposed to the surrounding atmosphere. It fills up so much more quickly because the air traveling into the bag is moving at a high speed, so it's a low pressure zone, and all this atmosphere just has to rush in and fill the bag, and it happens so much faster. I just think it's a really cool example of how when you can understand and harness the principles of physics, you can really manipulate the world around you, and you can build some really cool things. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.